Hello friends, I am here Kripa Shankar once again with you. We would like to inform you that the content on studentsrunway.com is exclusively compiled for distribution solely on studentsrunway.com. You may use the content for personal learning or pass it on to your friends, but please do not use it for any commercial or institutional use without acquiring prior authorization. Any tampering of watermarks of studentsrunway.com or Krupa coaching is liable for legal action. This is Krupa signing off. Thank you very much. All the best. This is a crayfish. C R A Y F I S H. Uh, it's a it's a small family of uh, lobsters. They resemble lobsters actually. Uh, L O B S T E R. Lobster. Uh, lobsters are uh, crustaceans. They have long antennae, pair of legs and modified into large powerful pincers and uh, the lobsters, the flesh is used as food. So crayfish and lobsters are uh, crustaceans, they look similar. These are somebody's credentials. Credentials means the certificates. Credentials. C-R-E-D-E-N-T-I-A-L-S. Credentials means the certification, accreditation, testimonials and uh, references a letter or certificate given to a person to show that he has a right to confidence or to the exercise of certain position or authority letters of credence so your certificates now this is a credenza c-r-e-d-e-n-z-a -E a credenza is a table uh, where uh, you can see there is a computer writing desk and uh, other things can be kept that's a credenza a type of uh, sometimes a buffet table or sideboard can also be called a type of buffet or sideboard uh, in restaurants you will find it's a dining room furniture holding linen silver china now silver means all the cutlery knives and all that so that's also called a credenza now this is another credenza you will find in a restaurant the drawers are for the silver and the side uh, side compartments are for the linen this is another credenza the creed of what is that the creed of right field creed means a set of beliefs creed means a set of beliefs or simply a belief statement a confession of faith doctrine synonyms are doctrine dogma faith uh, denomination declaration denomination d e n o m i n a t i o n Denomination, as you already know, is the name of a class of things, a class of kind of. So, denomination also means a particular religious body with a specific name and organization, a category, uh, a subgroup, uh, under a belief, a religious group. Denomination also means simply beliefs or creeds or sect. Uh, S-E-C-T, sect is a small subgroup, a religious body or denomination. Uh, this fellow is having the creepers and the gym jams. You can see it's a picture lifted from a horror film. He is getting the gym jams. Gym jams means uh, feeling very very nervous and creepy feeling. Creepers. Uh, gym jams actually is nervous feeling. Jittery. J-I-T-T-E-R-Y. Delirium tremens. Uh, delirium is madness. A temporary state of extreme mental excitement restlessness, confused speech, drunkards will uh, during the withdrawal, the drunkard is likely to suffer from delirium, confusion. So this fellow is being lifted off by some kind of a predator in a horror film and he is petrified. P-E-T-R-I, P-E-T-R-I-F-I-E-D. What is that? Petrified means uh, frightened, terrified, startled, scared, frozen with fear. Paralyzed with fear, stupefied and stunned, numb with fear. Petri actually means rock. So petrified means become like rock. That's another meaning. This fellow is petrified, frozen with fear. These are crepes. C-R-E-P-E-S. Crepe means a pancake, dosa. This is a crevasse. C-R-E-V-A-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Crevasse is a deep crack or a fissure in a glacier 
or uh, simply any deep crack a precipice abyss chasm fissure gorge gully ravine all these can be called a crevasse deep valley this fellow is having a crew cut gi joe cut gi joe is the name of an american soldier crew cut means a very short crop a crop means hair cut this is a person who is cringing out of fear or whatever c r i n g e cringe he has uh, pulled himself into the corner and he is uh, scared cringe means to draw back in fear shrink from something fearful or dangerous or painful to act in a very timid servile manner cringing is synonymous with flinching quailing recoiling wincing covering crouching groveling and truckling flinch f l i n c h n c h quail q u a i l means very scared recoil draw back in fear wins draw back in fear or pain cover the same thing c o w e r fawn means behave like a psychophant grovel means behave like a psychophant toady t o a d y or you know grovel can mean the same thing uh, to lie prone or crawl in a prostrate position abjectly behave very humbly and uh, uh, withdraw debase oneself that is groveling so cringing flinching wincing groveling all that mean draw back in fear or behaving in a very very servile manner things that make me cringe make me feel very scared this is simply a cartoon this is a picture of crochet which is an embroidery work c r o c h e t crochet is needle work in which uh, loops of thread or yarn are interwoven Uh, using a single hooked needle and the hooked needle is also called crochet c r o c h e t c r o c h e t so crochet means uh, it is the needle work embroidery and crochet also means the hooked needle which is used for such work and yarn simply means a fiber of wool or silk or any thread crocheting so this is embroidery work crocus c r o c u s these are purple colored flowers eh? fleshy uh, calm and uh, at the base it is thick and these are purple colored sometimes white color colors are also there saffron colors are also there these are different types of flowers this is a croissant what you are seeing is a bread roll actually because that shape you should remind you it's a croissant croissant is a breakfast bread roll c R O I S S A N T is a French word so the T is silent croissant is a rich uh, bread roll made in the shape of a crescent uh this is a primitive uh, sarcophagus S A R C O P H A G U S sarcophagus means a tomb Uh, limestone coffin here it is some stones have been placed one top of other a stone coffin a uh, monumental tomb that's a sarcophagus now bush has appointed madeline albright you see actually this is a cartoon of this lady and uh, he has appointed probably i mean that's a criticism because she is his uh, crony cronyism c r o n y crony means a friend crony means a friend a buddy an associate a cohort so cronyism means favoritism shown to close friends especially in political appointments so that is cronyism crony means a cohort or comrade buddy associate friend now cohort c o h o r t cohort means a gathering a following a group of soldiers or cohort simply means an associate a associate partner ally a complice companion cronyism on the high court well somebody has written an article or maybe it's a film or whatever cronyism means favoring friends nepotism any p o t i s m is favoring uh, relatives hello friends kripa shankar here again with you we thank you for your interest in kripa coaching and studentsunway.com if you find our content useful please like us on facebook follows on twitter 
and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hope we hope you give us a plus one on Google. You could also subscribe to our email list and be notified upon new updates. Thank you. This is Krupa Shankar signing off. Good luck.